It's funny, before I was about to sit down here, I started thinking about, because I write down what I'm gonna say in, in brevity before I get to this position, right? Because there's a lot of, I can go off the rails, you know? And it's, it's easy to do. You get more, you, if you get very used to the camera, um, you actually do start to open up in the most honest ways possible, but you start getting excited and then you just go tangent, tangent, tangent. So when I write something down now, I get really interested in what I'm thinking about once I start talking about it. It's bizarre, but it's true. So what I start to think about, I just realized this ring light is pretty, pretty intense. I should probably bring it closer. Ah, either or. Uh, we could talk about that too, because, oh God, I couldn't even imagine, like, I now understand the social vanity culture of business advertising. <laughs> it's like ridiculous. Like, I went to Henry's the other day and like, they have a whole floor now, which is a camera, quote unquote, was a camera store. Now it's a whole bunch of other things. But you go to that floor uh, and uh, there's one floor and it, it's really modified now for this for like social media posting, like tripods for cameras, camera mounts, ring lights. It's so face forward. You would never have imagined it would have gotten that way, but it is now, so that's interesting. Uh, so put that in your head. If the whole floor has changed to be dedicated to the art of this, <laughs> and, and you're not doing this, <laughs> then you might be, you know, outnumbered, like already. And that's a problem because it, you want to remain competitive and that's a major, comp competition is healthy business. So if you are not competitive and you're like, you know, while I still make a newsletter and I still email that newsletter monthly, I'm like, no one cares, <laughs> not anymore. No one gives a shit. Yeah, it's like, it's that far, like I'm behind, I'm behind. Anyway, I digress. The numbers game. So I have started to kind of become a stats person with human beings in say Canada. So because I'm in Canada, I, I'm gonna focus on that because I can kind of go, I can look at these stats, these public stats on Stats Canada's website. And so I'm really interested in the age of people and, and what they're doing and where they are in life, okay? Because some people are at different stages of their life in different ages. Just because you're 20 doesn't mean you're doing something in, in your 20s anymore. And so, because it's a numbers game, I'm really getting good at processing these formulas that I'm thinking of. Because I have a st strategy in mind that has to do with this. How, when, is the most opportune time to strike. <laughs> like if, it's, if this was a war, if this was war, when is the most opportune time to strike? And what I mean by striking is advertising, right? Marketing, rebranding, major changes to be competitive. And what's super interesting about this is that it's right around now, okay? And, and I've, I've held off on this for so long because I didn't really have the story that I wanted to tell or the narrative, or like I said, it's taken me a while to get to this point. Like I had to spend a lot of time in front of the camera. I had to spend a lot of time podcasting, recording myself, listening to myself, watching myself, transcribing myself. <sighs> anyway, all that stuff, because it's like, you really gotta practice. You can't just dive in. You gotta make sure that you have how, you, it's gotta be like, how do I sound? How do I look? When should I do it? When's the most best time to do the recording, et cetera, et cetera. There's so many parameters, but once you get it good, anyway, it, get, it becomes this, which is obviously I'm super comfortable in front of my own camera now. So the, um, the numbers game. So the strategic strike zone is like right around now because I started looking at the average age of the person in business. I wanted to look at what is an entrepreneur and there's different phases of entrepreneur. There's like the phase one, phase two, and I feel like we're in phase three. And so it's the time where people that haven't changed anything yet are the tiredest. <laughs> That's like what it is. It's 
like if the traditional method, and we'll get into that, it doesn't necessarily have to mean one thing. It can mean a lot of things. And then modern method, which is, you know, all the most sophisticated or, you know, even most in inexpensive AI tricks are all right here and they're humanless because salarized humans are an issue because they're expensive. So find a way to not have any. <laughs> Unfortunately, I sound like the villain there, but that's where AI sells. AI sells where you're like, hmm, so let's replace a person with a software package. Oh my God, I saved $75,000 a year. That was a stupid, you know, that was an easy move. I, I'm stupid for not doing that sooner. That's how easy that is, okay? Like, I mean, I could totally pitch a cloud stack and be like, close the door and then say, you and me, this is an executive conversation. You and me, we're talking about 10 people becoming five. Ooh, did I say that out loud? Five times $75,000 a year. Anyway, like I said, I'm probably gonna be assassinated from posting all these things because unfortunately, it does make sense. It's that obvious to me it makes sense, but it is also scary to think about. It is a lot of jobs, right? So anyway, the numbers game, strategic strike zone. Now, because I feel like there's still a lot of people stuck in traditional positions that haven't modernized and they're just tired, they're done. They want it to be, or they already want to have ejected, but they have to participate in this timeline that is theirs and the, you know Canada's or the world's for like 10 more years or 15 more years. And they haven't changed anything yet. So right now, anything that you wanna to do to competitively have an advantage against those people, do now, like right now, like today. Like email my business today, email me today. Because I can see the numbers, like the slide rule, you know, based on the age of people and like, you know, business and where we are and it's now. Between like 2020 and 2025, bloodbath. Because there are predictions that there's, you know, like the, the, uh, the AI and, you know, methods and everything are gonna crush the middle. You know, that administrative layer of humanity is just gonna come to like a zero like that. And that's between now and 2025, as well as there's gonna be a huge changeover between like boomers, as they say, and millennials, where millennials will outnumber boomers by 2025. So I'm shorting the human race, you know? In the stock market, I gotta go with software right now because it's like the modern method makes sense. And so if I wanna stay competitive in as a consultant, I talk like this now.